Hello and official welcome to everyone who's with us right now. Um, welcome to our spring exhibition called In Focus. Um, if you could take a look at the initial slide and we're asking folks to choose a photo to represent yourself and just use your first name. This is a public Zoom right now. And to kick us off, um, at the end of every session, we like to give words of appreciation either for other students in the program, for adults in the program, for an um, now that we're in this virtual space, we found this pretty cool tool, um, which requires you to take out your phone. Um, and the first time you're going to just text youth art X to the number two, two, three, three, three. So I can say, for example, I appreciate Habibi, right? So in a little bit, we'll get to see what everyone texts in. Um, but if everyone can take maybe one minute right now to try and get that set up. Oh, cool. We have someone joining us from San Diego. Awesome. Um, so we're going to Try to, you know, this is our first time doing a virtual exhibition. Um, I'm new to it. I'm trying to multitask here. We all are. Um, we're hoping that it goes really well with all the technical aspects of it. Um, something that I just wanted to put out there is that all of our students are going to be sharing work that they produced both before the shelter in place and after. Um, I'm really glad that we get to be together and see all the important work that has happened. Um, obviously, we can't feel everyone's energy like we could if we were all in the room together. Um, so I'm just gonna ask everyone that as people are sharing, you just like really activate the chat room um, with all these beautiful things for people. And I'll introduce folks in a second. Jorge, maybe could you explain what the polls are gonna be like? Yeah, for sure. Um, so. Basically, throughout the um, exhibition, we're going to be having polls that flash up on your screen. Um, they're kind of just fun and inquisitive looks into how we're all dealing with shelter in place. So if you could just answer that when they come up, we really appreciate it. There should be about five, uh, five or six. So here's the first one. Um, the question is, when was the last time you went outside? Um, today, yesterday, a week ago, or it's been so long that I don't even remember. Pretty good. Cool. Hey. Awesome. Not bad. Yeah. Not outside today. Yeah, that's great. Cool. cool. So now we'll officially kick it off. Chantal, could you put us into gallery view, please? Yes. A few introductions. Hi. So for folks who don't know me, my name is Sophia. Um, I'm the program manager at Youth Art Exchange and an alumni of our programs. And I'm going to be introducing some of the faculty and staff. So our other program staff are Chantal and Jorge, who you've heard from a little bit. If you could wave, please, so people could see you. Joanne, who is our development and communications manager. Hi, everyone. And Joanne. Um, I'll be introducing our faculty artists. We have Matthew, who's our photography faculty. Hello, everyone. I'm so glad to see all of you. We have Julian, our fashion design faculty. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, Julian. Um, I'm hoping, I can't even see if everyone's here, but Alyssa, our printmaking faculty. Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming. Uh, we have Logan, our architecture firm faculty. How's it going? Excited to see everyone's work. We have Alfie, our music production faculty. Um, we have Trish, our industrial design 
faculty. Hey everyone. Hi, Chris Wood, um, our industrial and product design co-faculty. Hey guys. Hey Chris. Hey buddy. Um, cool. And then last but not least, I wanted to introduce our executive director, Rafaela, who's going to share a few words with us. Hi, everyone. I'm Rafaela. I'm the director of Youth Art Exchange, and I just wanted to take a moment. I look very uh, like I'm a ghost, but I'm really here. Um, welcome, everyone, to our first ever virtual online spring exhibition. This is the first time that we've ever done anything like this, so welcome and thank you for joining us. Um, these past few months have been a, has been a lot of firsts for, for all of us in these kind of crazy unprecedented, unprecedented times. Um, not, most of us have never experienced anything like this, and so um, we are all in this together. And I wanted to first thank our young artists, all of our students who transitioned with us online to Zoom programming in the matter of one week. Um, we know that we've been hearing from you and we know that you are all pretty Zoomed out on all your school Zoom calls and all of those responsibilities that you have. And, you know, we also know that you all also have other kind of challenges that you're facing, like the rest of us being at home. Um, and so we really, really appreciate that you continue to Zoom again with us after your, your school commitments. And, and be with your classes and your faculty and your other students in the class, uh, in, in your Youth Art Exchange classes. We're super proud of all of you who are making the best of this really unfortunate situation that we're in and that you continue to um, stay creative um, and, and make space for that in, in, your, in, in your lives in these last couple of months. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to all the seniors that are graduating this year um, or this semester. I'm super proud of you. Thank you. Um, and I also want to thank our faculty who flexed, did a lot of flexing um, to move their classes online with zero planning time. Uh, in response to to the pandemic. Thank you for trying something new and shifting your cur curriculums and just going with the flow and being there for um, for all of our students um, so quickly. We all agreed as an organization, as a staff, as faculty, that we needed to continue offer offering a safe and create a space and we did it um, for the last few months. So thank you to everyone who made that possible. And we will continue to do this until, until we can all meet in person again and use all of our, our arts equipment that we have in our spaces. But um, until then, we're gonna continue doing this and, um, and staying connected this way. I also wanted to finally mention that we're celebrating 20 years as a, as a free, Youth Arts Organization, happy birthday to Youth Art Exchange. And so I wanted to ask all of you, um, whether you're a student, a parent, a fan, just to help us spread the word of about Youth Art Exchange. Tell a friend, tell your family, and, and join our community. And, um, and also, you know, the more likes we get, the more um, people know about us. Um, the easier it is for us to raise money to continue to offer free programming. Um, so every little bit of a donation counts for us. So just keep, um, just keep uh, spreading the word and, and telling your story um, about Youth Art Exchange and how you're connected to it. So thank you everyone. I'm really excited. It looks like we have 100 participants, which is huge. Um, so I'm really excited to see all of your work. And, um, and again, a big, big, big thank you. And without further ado, I'm gonna hand it over to the architecture firm. Um, so take it away.
Thanks, Sophia. This is Logan, the architecture faculty. I don't want to say too much because Natalie's going to start us off, but we had a great uh, we had a great time switching to a different medium, all computer, and we asked some interesting questions and thought up of some very interesting ideas in this new time. So please take it away, Natalie. Um, hi, I'm Natalie. Uh, so this semester or this whole year, we've been working on a parklet that's going to go, what's planning on being put right outside of X space. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then once we switch to online classes, we um, were all like, uh, we found precedents and like images that we liked of, of like affordable housing right now, like temporary housing that homeless people can live in, because um, that's really important right now. Um, and we all kind of focused on different parts of it. And we asked like questions that, you know, like we looked at a site and we had an idea and then we wondered like how we can like challenge um, like original, like norm, normal architecture and like make it creative and like useful. And so, yeah, here's some of our questions. And while these are playing in the background, I'll just add that each student responded to a simple prompt of emergency housing in a different way. And the questions that everyone asked and the different ways of imagining architecture uh, really made massive spread among you know, different ways of thinking. So while in the first part of the semester, we were all working together and building and on the same path, it's interesting to see people now be on different paths and answer these hard questions in their own way. And all of these images that you're seeing are images made by the architecture class. So some of them are on the computer, even using different kinds of modeling programs. Some of them are using drawing programs or Photoshop. Others like the last one you just saw was physical models, origami style. This one's a hand drawing that was then traced over, original hand drawer, original hand drawer. So lots of different ways of imagining architecture, many different kinds of mediums explored. You you know you're supposed to use Jaden ice cream scooper. If people want to just mute yourself unless um, you're speaking or want to chime in to say something, just because I know there's a lot of fun here, though it is nice to hear what's going on in your background. You never change the background on this. You never change the background. What? So you do. Thanks everyone for checking out that work. And again, it, you know, just spans lots of genres and shows you the 
you know, the practice, of, the practice of architecture takes many forms from writing to drawing to model making to just imagining and thinking. So it's amazing to see the switch and clearly they've learned something in the last year if they were able to produce such cool work so quickly. So good work architecture class. Yes, great work architecture. Um, super inspiring. Next we have fashion. So we're going to be hearing from um, Lena, Mariana, uh, Melody and Shakti, so just be be prepared <laughs> for that. Um, first, yeah. Lena is going to describe what the prompt was um, once they move online. Hi, I'm Lena. So um, basically, our original thing was we we're supposed to incorporate nature into our fashion designs, but in light of this epidemic or this pandemic. Um, we've shifted to COVID-19. Oh, could you hear me? Yeah, yeah. COVID-19. Um, so, yeah. Awesome. I'm just going to flip through some of the different sketches um, of what the class was sketching. So different clothing. So here are Kira's sketches. Um, here's like a collage from Mel. Do you want to talk about your experience in the fashion class? Hi. Um, so yeah, like, yeah, like I wanted to do um, something based in nature. So I chose flowers and I wanted to use flowers and I wanted to um, put um, flowers on my head. And yeah, that's all. Awesome. Um, and Melody is also on our youth advisory board and she's been years um, and she's graduating this semester. So congratulations. Um, sorry, some of these are kind of sideways. Um, here's some sketches from Shakti. Shakti, are you here um, to share? Yeah, I'm right here. Yeah, I made it. Um, wait, hold up. Remember the sketches. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, well, the, these are my sketches. Um, I did it during, well, before the, this pandemic. Um, and I also put flowers on mine. Um, I don't know, I always had, like, a connection with um, flowers. They're just, like, Really, really cool um, yeah, I, I think it was a jean jacket that I was trying to um, sketch out. Um, but yeah, basically, is there anything else I have to share? Okay. Uh, maybe just like what your experience has been with Yaks in the last couple of years. Um, I joined because of my friends. Um, and even even before I started coming for the first time, I wasn't even in the program. I was just there for, for my friends. But it's like super friendly. Like the staff is like <clears throat> really nice. I always felt like I could, I felt welcomed. Um, and then I joined and the fun continued, I guess. Um, and I've just had like a really great time with like the teachers um and even the new the new fashion teacher was um really great um and yeah I always had fun great thank you and also congrats on graduating uh here's some more sketches
Uh, here's an image from our last Zoom fashion class. Um, Mariana, you're the last speaker from fashion. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Great. Um, can you talk about your experience with um, Yaks and fashion and also uh, TA? Yeah. Um, well, hi, my name is Mariana. Um, I've been in Yaks for four years. Um, I've gotten to meet a lot of people. I've gotten to be a part of the art and student community here at Yaks. Um, through like the different fashion mentors, I've gotten to learn different perspectives in fashion. I've gotten to learn like how to develop skills I didn't even know I had. I've gotten to make new connections and friends here. And I really wanna deeply thank um, Youth Art Exchange for the opportunities I've gotten. And I'm really glad that through my years in high school, I got to be here. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's been awesome having you as a TA. I'm super excited to see what you will do next. Um, and yeah, thanks to all the fashion students um, and especially the graduating seniors. We'll definitely miss you. I wish you could do this in person, but here we are. Um, great. Okay, so now we're going to take um, a bit of a break to do another poll. <laughs> um, so you will get to vote on what your um, how are you feeling? Here it is. Can you universal language for all of us as we um, shelter in place? I feel. I want to give a quick shout out to our youth advisory board who helped create these polls. Thank you. They, they curated these memes for us, so we can pick. All right, these are the results. So I guess we're mostly feeling like Mike Wazowski. Um, but yeah, thank you Youth Advisory Board for sharing these wonderful memes with us. I think next up we have uh, industrial and product design. Um, with Trish, who's our talented faculty artist, and Jordi, Sergio, and Malia presenting. All right, I'm gonna say very, very little. Um, and if you click to the next screen, that's the Yaks ID studio team. Uh, everybody sort of assigned themselves either their own photo or the meme that they felt the most near and dear to them. So with that, I'm just going to hand it over and let Jordi, Sergio, and Malia walk you through it. Take it Hello, away. My name is... Next slide. Hello, my name is Jordi. I'm a sophomore at Lincoln High School. Design Studio is a space. What is a space? Space is a canvas, and that is definitely true about our studio. Design Studio is a place where I was able to put through my many rampant ideas running rep Oh, sorry, you're supposed to, okay, never mind. How? Can you, you're good. Okay, oh, sorry. Just you can start question. again. Next slide? No, 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 no. no. Jordy, why don't you start again? Jordy, start again. Just leave this slide. Just start again. Okay. <laughs> Design studios. Thanks, Trish. You got Design this. Design is a space. What is space? Space is a canvas, and that is definitely true of our studio. Design Studio is the place where I was able to pick on my, one of my many ideas running rampant and realize it. However, design doesn't only happen behind closed doors. Next slide, please. It's everywhere, in gardens, museums, in the streets of our city. We look at the ordinary everyday structures, items, and bring out the design process residing within. We look at the designer's mind, think about what, we'd, we, what we would change or create differently. Most importantly, we get inspired. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Jordi. Hi, my name is Malia. Um, this semester in the industrial design class, we've had the opportunity to work on three projects. And in the beginning of the semester, we start off with individual projects, including go-karts, skateboards, furniture. Before the fabrication, we did design drawings and sketch models. So in this slide you can see some people's design drawings. Because some people were incorporating hydro dipping into their design, we got 
we all got to do some experimenting. For those who don't know what hydro dipping is, it's essentially taking an, an object and dipping it into a tub of water with spray paint, and then when you pull it out, it creates a marbling effect. Lastly, since we've been in quarantine, we actually stopped our individual projects and started working together on a new project called Shelter in Place. We decided to do design emergency shelters in response to everything that's going on right now. Thank you. And does that mean I get to play? A lot more. <clears throat> so, uh, actually, fun fact: this little uh, thing on the uh, presentation is actually what the um, the uh, if you text any word to the phone number, uh, that's what's how it's going to show up. So it's going to make this cool collage effect. Anyways, <clears throat> all right. Next slide, please. Okay. Hi. My name is Sergio Almonte. I go to Abraham Lincoln High School and I'm a sophomore. The first of any design process is finding a place to collaborate. In the beginning of the year, we met at the Boys and Girls Club in San Francisco, but through the recent pandemic, online uh, to a digital collaborative website, allowing us to meet and share ideas while being physically distant. Next slide. The second step of the design process is to iterate upon uh, iterate your project based on feedback. We did this digitally by separating ourselves into groups and slowly refining our big ideas into real buildable designs. Um, we shared sketch models, we discussed technologies and materials, and we even um, talked about potential costs for the things we were building. Um, next slide. Next slide. <laughs> All right. Um, Although the recent pandemic puts a damper on our plans, the internal design process we all share never truly slows down. Thank you all for your time. Thank you, IZ. Thank you, Sergio. <coughs> so yeah, again, just want to give a shout out to Trish, Jordi, Sergio, and Malia for all their work in industrial and product design. Really enjoyed that presentation. And I believe next up we have um, Recording Studio um, with faculty artist Alfie and Camila and Bella will be speaking. Okay, cool. So hi, everybody. Clap it up. Don't forget your reactions down on the bottom. You guys made it. Clap it up, everybody. Clap it up. We made it through. It was, it's been like, I can't even tell you, it's been life changing. Not just the pandemic. We've got a lot of family and extended family and just extreme life changes happen. Um, and I appreciate everybody for um, plugging in and getting online the best you can and sticking up with the, with the goals and um, making it regular to your sessions. Uh, congratulations to you guys and to the instructors. Clap it up to everybody. Reactions, reaction button, yes. Um, okay, cool, so audio production. Uh, we have a couple speakers. One, uh, Camila, who's going to speak on being brand new to audio production and new to Yaks. And Bella, who's a graduating senior and um, exiting and has had a really incredible year with us. Um, so they're going to speak. Uh, one of the things that we really were focused on was high definition audio, which is hard to come by now with everything streaming and using the studio space at uh, the X space, the Meat Locker Studios. Um, and so we had to really switch gears. And it took a lot of coming together and getting computers and keyboards and sharing files and understanding how to do all that stuff. And we decided to try to use Come Together as a lead. And so at that, I'm gonna turn it over to Camila and she's gonna speak on a little bit on that and a little bit on uh, what we did. And then I'm gonna put a link uh, so that you guys can hear in good quality sound of the songs in the chat. And we're all gonna press play at the same time. And hopefully that'll get this um, party going a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna put it in the chat right now. Don't press it now, or actually I'll save it. Let's go to Camila. Uh, wait, do I speak on the come together first? Uh, you can just speak on the being new. Uh, oh, um, being new to Youth Art Exchange, 
um, I didn't know what to expect, but what I got out of it was really positive. Um, just really warm welcomes and I got to learn a lot. But the like main thing that I learned was really time management because I never really went to any like extracurriculars before. So this is like my first time doing something like that. And like now because of this, like I'm really better at like, you know, my time and stuff. And but I also learned Ableton and it's like way better than all of the other softwares I've used to make music before and it's just been a positive experience new things nice things cool okay everybody so I'm gonna put the link in the chat it's there and we're all gonna press play on it don't do it yet because it'll fire the music right away um, it's there so we're gonna do it at the count of three. You guys ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, press the link. That was amazing. So good. Clap so it up everybody for the students, yeah. Bella, do you want to talk about um, your, I guess, your song or your experience with Yams? Um, sure. Well, first, um, I'm management, so I kind of, um, like, did I, like, all of the lyrics, I thought of at, like, 4 a.m. one night when I was having insomnia, and then the next day, I, like, um, I tried to, like, figure it out on the bass, like, how to get my ideas on the bass. And then the next day I like got it all together. And then after that, Alf Alfie helps me mix everything and like kind of bring it to life. Um, but also like about this year um, and like the program and everything, it's been super fun and amazing. Um, and Alfie's like super amazing and fun and like a really great um, teacher and role model, I feel like. Um, at first I was just singing in the beginning of the year and I had just started that like I did my first performance with the acts and then Alfie was like how can we like step up your game we should like make you learn an instrument and I was like yes so then like long story short he like helped me find a bass and everything so I can start learning the bass and so this is the first song I ever made on my bass and everything so it's been pretty cool yeah um, well, you mentioned that you wrote that song at night, and I guess that leads into our next poll question, um, which is what time have you guys been going to bed uh, on average? Um, I know it kind of varies for everyone right now since time doesn't seem to mean that much. So yeah, here's the next question. Um, Bella and Seekin, who's also in our recording studio class, um, have performed together as today's tomorrow. Um, and they performed at the Youth Arts Summit, which is an event that we convene. Um, and this upcoming year will be the 10th year. Um, so convening youth arts organizations from around the Bay Area, re recently at California College of the Arts. So um, they won the prize for best performance um, this December, which was really awesome. I want to shout out um, printmaking faculty artist um, Alyssa. She's really talented we're happy to have her and the two speakers who will be um, speaking on behalf of printmaking are audrey and fia Nava. thank you audrey um hi everybody my name is Alyssa. i just want to really quickly introduce my amazing class um i'm just going to say a few words but um we began the semester by um working collaborative collaboratively on a couple of public art projects and um, as all of us uh, faced, um, we had to very quickly shift to working in an entirely new process. Um, and as you may or may not know, printmaking is very process-based, very hands-on, in-person type of thing. Um, and so what you're about to see is this transition um, made digitally. Um, but I think what is really important and powerful about printmaking is not so much the process, but really at its core is its potential to um, really make a lasting impact and um, 
communicate messages um, in a really powerful way. Um, and so um, I'm excited to show you all what my students have been working on. Um, and so at this point, I'm going to give it over to Audrey and Fanula. Um, okay, so for this project, we collaborated with Lyric, which is an organization for LGBTQ youth. And we created a project that addresses toxic masculinity and gender norms as a whole. These posters were going to be for a play at the Yerba Buena Center for the Arts called The Limp. But um, Sadly, that is canceled as of now. They were originally going to be block prints, but for now we just have the sketches. Okay, so this first print is actually by Audrey. Um, it's about crushing, uh, it's about breaking through stereotypes about gender. Um, we can, next slide. Um, this is by Casey, and hers is just talking about. Um, uh, stereotypes and just gender stereotypes in general. Um, this is Clint's. His um, image is about labeling genders based on appearances. Um, this is Emmy's. Um, she did her image about how about the harm of toxic masculinity and how it affects um, our communities and the larger world. This is mine. Um, it's about crushing negative stereotypes about women in derogatory terms. This is Haley's. Um, hers, I don't I think we got, we learned what hers was about, but if you read it, it looks a lot like it's commenting on um, more gender stereotypes. This is Jess. Um, her image is about how the world is chained to a stereotype um, and many stereotypes and that it needs to be set free. This is Michaela's. Um, she drew this piece to say that we are all beautiful and no matter who we choose to love or who we want to be, um, we are all beautiful. <laughs> um, this is Raina's. She's talking about um, the death of toxic masculinity. And this is Ryan's. Um, her image is about gender fluidity and the overlap between male and female and everything in between. This is a new one. I'm not sure who yes. this is. These are the portrait posters now. Oh, that's my turn. Okay. Great. <laughs> so um, this was pretty much around the time where we were, we were transitioning into digital classes and we were trying to adapt to resourceful creative methods of art making. And uh, this one's about reflecting on the current health situation and uh, the many levels that it's affected in our youth community. And yeah, these are, <laughs> these are them. Yeah, so as we transferred to an online class, we didn't have the materials we needed to make actual prints. So we moved on to posters um, and learned a lot about portraiture and text through different I don't know, fonts and yeah. And then next, uh, we have some coloring book images. So one, um, one of our main projects we've been working on during this time is creating a digital coloring book um, with the intentions of being able to provide um, an accessible art form to our community. Um, you know, a lot of folks don't have access to art materials or, you know, the things that we are sometimes used to having at school or in the studio. Um, and so we thought it would be a fun idea to create these um, very simple drawings that we could upload to our website and um, 
you know, be able to share with anybody really in our larger community. Um, and this is an ongoing project that is not only limited to the printmaking class. Um, it's open to submissions from um, anybody else in the X program, X alumni, um, you know, I'm even considering opening it up to all youth. Um, it's just a really uh, fun idea. Um, and if you're interested in submitting, um, we do have a flyer with more information, um, which is somewhere in here <laughs> towards the end. But um, you can just draw a simple black and white drawing. Um, it doesn't even have to be edited or anything like that. Uh, just um, either scanned or um, sent through a photograph to my email. Um, and yeah, that's Chantal, I don't know. Do you, can you see the, um, the image? Yes, it, it's in a few images. So I'll just go through these line drawings. I don't know who did them, but they're great. Yeah, and our idea behind this was just um, making images that um, kind of reflect ideas of hope and happiness and just kind of lightheartedness in general during this time, um, with the intention of just creating a feel-good activity for anybody to be able to do. <laughs> And there's our flyer. Um, it is a little hard to see <laughs> at this um, uh, level, but if you would like, I can send it over. Um, but really the most important information is just sending it to my email down there, which is um, which Sophia typed in the chat box. Um, so you could definitely take my email down and send me um, any images that you'd like to include in this PDF. Thank you guys. Great. Thank you, Alyssa. Thanks to all the printmaking students. Um, I've really loved sitting in on your classes um, over Zoom. Um, so now, Matthew, who is our photography, um, darkroom photography faculty artist, will be sharing the photography classes work. Um, so whenever you want, Matthew, you can... Oh, great. He's sharing his screen right now. All right. Can you guys hear me? Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Matthew Brown. I am the photo instructor here at Youth Art Exchange. Um, I'm so excited that you all came. It's so exciting to see so many people. Um, what we did for our project once we went shelter in place is created a online zine. So this is the Corin zine. Um, and um, I'm just gonna start it and enjoy. Um, some parts will just be watching some photos and we'll have some speakers, so enjoy. Twenty-one film photographers were forced out of the dark room and into their own confined environment. Together, we created a digital art collective, embracing our limiting circumstances and the world of digital photography. See how our perspectives changed and shifted due to the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. This scene is the culmination of our time during quarantine. During our time before quarantine, we spent many hours working on our film photography. Some of us were new to film, while some of us had already had experience. We all worked at our own pace, mastering different parts of film photography, whether it was the shooting, processing, or printing. Matthew, our teacher, let every student have total creative freedom while still exposing us to new techniques and methods of capturing. This let us all create exactly what we wanted to the best of our abilities um, and let us have a lot of fun.
so this is part two of the quarantine when we went to shelter in place. And um, without access to the dark room, we began to experiment with our phone cameras and some had digital cameras. And so we also learned about color theory from Matthew and he taught us some new things and we began to create. This semester we had a, to change and adapt. At the beginning of the semester, we had regular class using the dark room to create, um, sorry. Um, but because of Corona and quarantine, uh, we had to create in new ways, whether that was collage, color photography, or writing. It also gave us a chance to learn about color theory, juxtaposition, and how to sequence and tell a story with our photos. Uh, thank you so much for watching our presentation and thank you to Yaks and of course thank you so much Matthew. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> um, I just want to thank my students. Um, they they showed up. They came and they are hungry and they made amazing work and we're going to continue this um, on Instagram. So follow us on Instagram at Yaks underscore Quarantine. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm just um, so thankful for this class. So thank you so much. And um, I will uh, give it back to Chantel. We have a poll for YAC students. And hopefully you recognize these snacks. I have a question. Mm -hmm. When have we gotten Little Caesars Pizza? Have to go to photography class. <laughs> exactly. That we win it. <laughs> Yak Tracks got it all day. Y'all oh, out every time. Yeah, every time. we had to turn it away. No more. Um, Yak Tracks is basically a monthly like teen hangout um, where we feature like young artists, um, mostly musicians, but we've had like presentations about outside projects as well. Um, and we do have food like Little Caesars and Lumpia and a wide assortment of snacks. Um, Definitely have seen some great performances there, both from Yaks youth and um, youth from other parts of the city and the Bay Area even. Um, so yeah, definitely um, a cool opportunity to hang out with peers and get paid to perform. <laughs> yeah. My favorite snack um, was not an option. It was the Ritz peanut butter combo. Oh, thank you everyone for texting in your appreciations. It's really nice to see. Um, I am going to give some appreciations in a little bit more of a formal setting. Um, for today's Zoom, we've combined what is traditionally our final exhibition with our last day of program, which is a day when we celebrate the accomplishments of all of our amazing students. Um, and since it is May and graduation season two, there is going to be some love for all of our seniors who we're going to deeply, deeply miss. 
Um, so as part of our program, we like to recognize one student from each discipline. Um, this is usually one of the hardest things for our faculty to choose. Um, and I have to be a little strict and get them to just choose one. Um, so I am going to start announcing those first. Oh, yay, someone like the, everyone like the cupcakes, yay. Um, so this one is from Alfie. Um, every faculty gets to name their award. So this is exciting. He wanted to highlight the growth and creative technical application in music production. And this award goes to Sydney. Sydney is a longtime YAC student. Yay, Sydney. Um, she started in fashion Ooh. design. Woo. Yeah, you can unmute yourself wow. to do a little woot. Um, Sydney started in fashion. She's in music. Sydney is at a lot of YAC's tracks. So thank you, Sydney. She's also graduating. Congratulations. Um, next up, I want to award Excellence in Darkroom Photography. This one comes from Matthew, and he's awarding it to Hannah McDonald. So, Woo Hannah! Congratulations. Oh, Hannah. Go, oh, Hannah. Let's see. Next up. So Julian was new um, to teaching with us this semester and he was having a hard time choosing one person. And so I decided to cut him a break um, and he wanted to award his award to the entire class. So maybe Julian, could you just jump in and say real quick a few words? Yeah, sure. But where am I? Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Um, my analogy for um teaching the class was it was like what i told the students the other day was it's like if you stay the night at someone else's house for the first time and you wake up in the middle of the night and you got to find the bathroom it's not a horrible experience but you just kind of got to like figure some things out you can't really understand the layout so that was kind of my analogy for it and then so i didn't know much going in but it was still a success as far as connections and inspiring them and um, providing them like a foundation to think about stuff differently you know so and given that I was still getting used to everyone at the same time and figuring out different skill sets and temperaments I, I like the whole class in general so I just was like I'm gonna do the whole class that's yeah, so. it thanks Julian yeah um, so next up I want to highlight the excellence in studio leadership award um, and this is for the industrial and product design class. This award today goes to Nicholas um, and Trish really wanted to highlight the leadership that Nicholas showed in the ID studio, both uh, when we were meeting in person and then also when we transitioned to this online platform. So congratulations, Nicholas. Yay, Nicholas. Yay. I think that was Logan's voice, which is perfect because next up I'm going to award the best designer for architecture firm. And this goes to Ison. Congratulations. Ison started with us last summer in the art build program. And it's been really awesome to have him transition into one of the youth leaders on our architecture firm. And we can't wait to have you for many, many years. He's an awesome freshman. So we're excited to see you grow. Um, I love the name of this award. This is Alyssa awarding the Ambition, Persistence, and Creativity in Printmaking Award. And this one goes to Emmy. I don't know if I saw Emmy online, but congratulations, Emmy. Um, Emmy this semester, her senior year, decided to take on two classes and she was both in the fashion program and the printmaking program, which um, Emmy, if you didn't know, has an awesome clothing line and she uh, sells her designs at school. I've seen all the orders that she gets, so super awesome. Keep it up. Um, I've been meaning to get something, but 
Maybe, maybe she'll offer online shipping or something like that for all of us at home. Um, next up, I wanna highlight the teaching assistants from our classes. So this semester we had three teaching assistants. Um, thank you, Allison, who was the TA for the darkroom photography class. I believe this was maybe, you've been a TA multiple times. I can't remember exactly how many, but thank you. Um, same goes to Mariana. I know that I believe this is your second time TAing. Um, and Mariana is part of the crew that I'm going to shout out a little bit later. Um, but there's this crew of Academy girls who are all seniors now. And they started when, we, uh, when they were in ninth grade, which is also when I started working at Youth Art Exchange. So, you know, it's a particularly um, sentimental moment. So thank you, Mariana, for your leadership as a TA in the fashion program. And then our final, um, oh no, two TAs, okay. Next on my list, I wanna shout out the Youth Advisory Board. The Youth Advisory Board, for y'all who don't know, is a group of youth leaders, uh, nine of them. And we meet about every three weeks. They help us with all kinds of stuff. Um, they created these amazing polls for us today. They just won a grant, uh, a youth grant that they wrote to fund, help fund youth stipends for one of our summer programs. So you'll hear a little bit more about that in a second, but the Youth Advisory Board is up to all kinds of cool stuff. They meet with our Adult Advisory Board twice a year. They help make sure that Everything we're doing um, centers youth. So really, our organization would not function in the same way without them. So thank you. And especially a shout out, since we've gone to shelter in place, they've been super extra engaged. Uh, we've been meeting once a week now, and they've transitioned to helping Youth Art Exchange doing census outreach. Um, so that's been really cool. We have a video out it will be hitting all the platforms really soon. So keep an eye out for that. So I'm gonna quickly just shout out the names of our Youth Advisory Board. You're amazing. So we have Jody, who's our returning member. And then this year we had, everyone else was new and it was really amazing to get to work with you. So thank you, Natalie. Thank you, Lena. Thank you, Dahlia. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, R. Melody, part of my Academy crew. Casey, um, who's also, oh my God, I forgot to say, Casey is the TA for printmaking. I am so sorry. So Casey is the TA for printmaking and also a youth advisory board member. Oh yeah, and Audrey. Um, cool. So thank you. And then just a quick word to our seniors. Um, again, I wish we could be doing this in person and celebrating all of the accomplishments that you have both um, in your communities, um, here at Youth Art Exchange, in your schools, academically, you all are superstars. Um, but I just wanted to take a moment to shout out all of our seniors who are graduating. Um, and say, please stay connected, especially now that we're going to be, you know, both online and then whenever we can be back at X-Base, be back at Boys and Girls Club. So stay connected. Um, shout out Emmy, a graduating senior. Shout out Jessica from our Academy crew. Oh, Matthew's requesting if we can go gallery view. Awesome. And maybe you can wave, people can wave as I'm calling your names if you're on video. Um, who else? Kira, Kira, yay, Kira. Mariana again. Melody again. Shakti, we heard from you earlier. Thank you. No Alam. problem. Oh, we're gonna miss you all. 
Alejandro, shout out Alejandro. I know you've been really helpful um, in mentoring students, um, especially some students who speak mostly Spanish in Alfie's class. And I know you've been a really great help for, for that. So thank you. Um, Bella, shout out Bella. We loved hearing your music. If you can maybe share where we can hear some of your other music in the chat. Oh yeah, we love all of our alumni too, says Rafa. <laughs> uh, shout out Sydney again, a senior. Allison again. Frida. R, youth advisory board member, senior. And Sochil, in printmaking. And then last but not least, I know I've showered you with so much excellence, um, but I wanna make a special announcement, which is that Youth Art Exchange, we partner with the Organization of Women Architects uh, to offer a scholarship for a college bound senior. Um, and it doesn't need to be strictly architecture. They, it could be any um, female identifying person who is gonna pursue design in some way. And so we had many YAC students apply and I am really excited to share with you all the winner who is Frida. Um, and I was really happy. I, I got to see Frida yesterday when we were delivering cupcakes. So I'm glad I was able to congratulate you in person from six feet apart. Um, and Frida's going to UC Berkeley next year, which is uh, Rafa and I's alma mater. So yay. Woo. Woo. And that's, <laughs> that's my long list of awards. Woo! Yeah! Cool. So, um, before we like wrap up, we just wanted to kind of make some announcements. Um, about the future and some things coming up. So first is that we're still enrolling for our summer programs. I know it's probably been a lot of like, I mean, things are just in flux in general, but we can say that we are um, going forward with our summer program and we would love all of you to, to join in if you'd like to, if you can. So uh, this summer uh, we're starting um, in the middle of July, they're July 13th and it's going until the 31st. Um, we've made some adjustments to the schedule. So it'll be Monday, Wednesday, Friday from one to three. And there will be two programs, Art Build, which is a combination of architecture and music production. It's normally only open to rising ninth graders, but given the current situation, um, we're opening it up. And then there's also Envision, which is a combination of photography and printmaking, which is open to rising 10th graders. 10th graders and 12th graders. And as always, you can apply online on our website, youthartexchange.org slash enroll and um, get your application in by June 1st. Um, it is like, you know, on a rolling basis. And next is that, um, I mean, we do this normally at the end of each program. Uh, we do a digital survey that's like for us to gather information, um, get feedback from all of you about um, your specific class, um, your own strengths, and things that you'd like to work on, as well as things that we can improve on um, as a program. Uh, so if you could fill out this digital survey, um, we have shared the link in a few emails and in classes, but if you haven't done it yet, um, I'll send the link out in the group news um, ASAP. Um, cool. And then I think Natalie is next with a couple more announcements. And yes, yeah. please, um, oh, Zoom sorry. will be on my side. Okay, um, so the first announcement I have is about the quarantine. So you already saw it, but um, photography students have been working on a collaborative zine during shelter in place ca called quarantine or um, at yaks underscore quarantine on Instagram. And um, all yak students are encouraged to join in. And I think earlier they said that anyone is allowed to join in or any youth or, um, yeah. Um, and then the second announcement I have is about the coloring book. 
and the printmaking program has been working on a collaborative coloring book featuring line art from YAC students. So reach out to staff or printmaking faculty artist Alyssa to get involved. Great. Um, and then our last um, announcement. So we are looking um, into offering some open programming. So over the last few months or last month, really, um, we've had these public drawing classes by Alyssa as well as a film club uh, by Matthew. Um, and those have been open to all teens. Um, so we are looking to have some kind of open programming. Stay tuned to see what that will be. Um, that's one of the questions in the YAC survey. So please give us uh, your feedback there so we can offer what you are looking for. And then please follow us on social media at YouthArtX. Um, I would say we're the most active on Instagram, but we are on Facebook and Twitter as well. Um, so please follow us there to, um, yeah, just keep in touch with what we will be doing. Um, and then Jorge is going to explain to you what this word, this final word cloud is going to look like. Yeah, um, so similarly to the appreciation word cloud that we kind of um, started the exhibition with, um, we're going to kind of wind it down with another word cloud. Um, so you'll just text to that same 22333 number that you did earlier. And the prompt for this one is, what's one thing you want to embody in these times? And as um, those answers come in, they will um, pop up here. It's pretty cool to watch these, I must say. Yes. So as you text, you will see the screen change. Um, if you don't have a phone, you can um, also, at the top you see, here's the a website, so you can also go to this poolev.com slash youthartx and um, type in your responses. Um, the more times a word is repeated, the bigger it gets, so you can kind of see what we're all thinking about. Oh, I haven't texted before. And again, you can send in as many as you want. I know we asked for one thing, but if you want, you could send in more than one. You just keep texting. Um, and if anyone wants to unmute themselves and share um, what they wrote, feel free.
I think we'll let it run for like another 30 seconds if you want to add in any more um, things that you want to embody in these coming days, weeks, months. Um, we'll definitely all be thinking of all of you students, please keep in touch. This is not the end, I'm just, I'm just saying these as these words come in. So thank you everyone for submitting to this word cloud. It's really beautiful. And yeah, I just really want to thank everyone um, for an amazing session. Um, I feel so inspired by all of you. Um, and it was really great seeing how the classes have transitioned online. Um, I know, you know, as Rafa was saying earlier, this has been um, a hard time for people, but um, I've been so grateful to be a part of this community um, and glad that you all have been um, sticking with us um, throughout the session. Um, definitely keep in touch. Um, and it was really nice, you know, usually we have this final exhibition at X Space. Um, actually, my background. If any of you were at XSpace one year ago, this is from the spring exhibition at XSpace, the printmaking class um, <laughs> did these um, mapping memories. So they mapped different memories they had in San Francisco. Um, and I think the areas are different colors based on the population of youth living there. And then here are some prints. Um, so this is my way of feeling like we're at XSpace. Um, but yeah, usually we, are able to all be together in person. So in a different way, yesterday staff went um, and drove around to all of our students' houses who have you know, really stuck with us this session. Um, I'm gonna share a photo of the students who let us take pictures of them. So just know that that's happening. Um, but yeah, here are some of our students who we saw, it was really nice. So um, Yak staff, Sophia, Jorge, Rafaela, Joanne, and myself, um, we went around um, and delivered cupcakes from Noe Valley Bakery, which were really great. Um, so it was really nice to be able to see all of you um, in person, even though it's a little different. Um, I was really happy to see everyone I saw. So thank you for that. Um, I would love to take a screenshot of everyone here. So if everyone could turn on their video just for for now, so uh, you can speak if you want, or you can read yourself. Woo! But yeah, thank you all so much. Thank you. Um, well, it's so nice to see you all. Okay, so I'm gonna give you 10 more seconds to turn on your camera. Hey, mom. Take a screenshot. So just see. Yeah. Okay, you guys ready? Okay, so three, two, one. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Alyssa. Thank you, everyone. So much. Thank you. Great work, everyone. Thank you. Great work. Go, Mila. Thank you, Thank you Alyssa. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. It was so good. So good. All of you. Thank you for coming. It was awesome. Out, everyone. Thank you for having us. Great job, everyone. Take care. See you next year.